All right, guys, I got a little bit of time here. We're going to do another little short video on the Hondu. Uh, it was missing key fobs. It's got no key fobs. Remember, this thing has got the mixed up keys um, where somebody has changed the driver's side lock cylinder in the door, which is kind of silly. drives me nuts. So what I did to resolve that is I ordered a lock cylinder for the driver's door, and I also got another key. And I'll just take it to a locksmith and have them code the lock cylinder to the key. So that way there we've got one key for all the doors and the trunk and everything. We don't have to carry on two keys. Uh, but also when I checked the VIN number, uh, this car was supposed to come with keyless entry. Uh, which, you know, we don't have the key fob for. I don't know if the battery's in this thing. Yeah, I guess it is. It lights up. Okay, so what I did is I got the part number for the factory Hondu remote. Which was like 80 some dollars, my cost. It was like 86 bucks for a remote. So, you know, I like aftermarket junk. I went on the old Amazon and I found this thing for on my paper here. How much was this little guy? It's cheap. $19.85. It looks just like the factory unit. So, with that being said, we're going to see if it works. It came with instructions. I didn't even have to look up the factory reset info. Uh, of course, I only bought one. I don't want to get two of them and find out they're junk. You know, I'm always hesitant to, uh, you know, get stuff like this. So, of course, we've got the engine kind of tore apart a little bit. Coils and stuff are out of it, but that shouldn't matter. Uh, it tells us to collect all the remotes we wish to program, which we only have one. Um, you have four seconds to complete each step. If you take longer than five, you'll need to restart the entire process. Enter vehicle. Close the doors. Repeat the following steps A, B, C three times. Use the same remote each time for this step. An unprogrammed remote can be used. Uh, repeat steps A, B, C three times. So step A, turn ignition on, just shy of starting to number two. So basically to the run position. Um, press the lock button on the remote you're programming. Turn ignition off. And then we do that three times. And then step five. Turn to the on position, so it's going to be the fourth time in the on position. Uh, use your remote from step four. Press the lock button. And this time the doors locks will cycle, confirming the vehicle has entered programming mode. Using the same remote from step four, press the lock button. And this time the power door lock or the door locks will cycle, confirming the vehicle has programmed the remote. If you have more remotes, follow step seven, which is hitting the lock button. The door locks will cycle to indicate each one has been programmed. You have 10 seconds to program each additional remote. Turn the ignition off. Remove the key. Test all remotes. If program unsuccessful, restart from step one. Wow. Did you guys get all that? We'll just give her a go here. something in the doors. This should be, I heard the doors like lock or oh great the freaking power locks. Oh let's see. That power lock on this side doesn't even work. Yeah well the passenger side works the driver's there's something else we gotta fix folks. The driver's side door lock actuator doesn't even work. Well let me show you so it appeared that we were successful so you can see it blink the lights on the dash. And then we'll relock it. Crap, found something else wrong. All right, let me show you. So the driver's side door lock actuator doesn't work, which I didn't know because I never tested it. However, we were successful. Let's see, does the panic button work? Oh, crap, it does. Let's see, there we go. Woo! Quit panicking, folks. What do you got to do? You push and hold it, maybe? Yep. Alright, so that works. Alright. Alright, so our passenger side lock actuator works. It's pretty quiet. But that works. Um, our driver's side door doesn't, so that's something we'll have to tear apart. But... Our little $19 special off of the old Amazon worked. 
and uh, what is that 60 60 some dollars cheaper than the factory one and it looks the same it does feel kind of lightweight I'll give it that it doesn't have the heft of the OEM one it's probably the same I'd have to compare it but it does feel it feels kind of cheap you know but whatever now I gotta stick the key in the door it just automatically locked well, it's because it didn't see the door open input no it won't automatically lock but so we got to tear the driver's door apart which we need, need to do anyways because I was going to tear these doors apart because I see the fabric is hanging off them so I don't know and it, you know the fabric doesn't appear to be whipped you know it looks good um, but it's just lost all of its adhesion so I don't know if we can get some spray adhesive when we take these door panels off and uh, you know get that restock I don't know I've got a friend who has a fabric shop and uh, he deals with a lot of fabric so maybe we'll pull the panels off go down and see him and uh, see if he can't help us fix these so I don't botch them all up there you have it folks key fob fixing on your Hondu with your Amazon key fob there now like I say once I get my lock cylinder my other key we'll program the other key for it I'll probably buy another remote now that we know that they work that way I've got two keys two remotes one key fits all get rid of this hocus pocus here and we'll be good to go we'll be v-teching in no time